Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today I'm going to show you how to build a crossover barrier with basic Lego, as seen here in this little example here. So to start, we need the four dotted square Lego locks, and we need five of those. Also, two dotted rectangle blocks with the second one having a dot at the front. And the last thing you need is a rectangle long plate. And I have here a 10 dotted Lego piece. So we're going to start with a square piece right at the top. Going to connect the, the crossover with the barrier together now. And this one is the 10 dotted rectangle plate. Now, this is the two dotted rectangle that I was talking about with the dot in the front. You can use this one, or if you don't have this one, in most cases, the basic package just has the two dots at the front. So, you can use that as well for this. So as you can see, we actually connect the arm to this single piece block. So put a second square block on top of the other, then the two dotted Lego block, and then one behind it. Now the next step is to put another square block in front. We're going to skip one dot and then and then you're going to stack up two square blocks before you connect the arm. Now you connect the arm and then the last block, the third one in front to secure it. And there you go. Now you have a barrier that moves up and down and won't fall off easy. Now from the top here, you can actually see how it's holding the barrier in place. Now from this point, you can add some features to it to make this crossover barrier a little stronger, a little secure, especially if you make the arm longer and heavier, you can use a foot at the end to keep it in place. I'm just going to add some features to it and put some lights and whatnot on it. What I also like to do in most cases is do a some kind of crash test or kit test. In this case, I just ram a car against the barrier and see how it holds up. So just a normal thin small car does good. Doesn't really break, but it does wobble. And if you have a bigger like a truck, well the barrier as is will break easy. Especially with kids. So just to secure this a little bit more, I'm going to add something very simple, very easy. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use a single dot or a double dot. So just what you have lying around, you can use that. So I'm going to use a four dot rectangle and I'm going to secure it on the back here and that will actually keep the two blocks in place and won't let them move and the barrier also gets a stop so it doesn't turn all the way around. So 
so now that I secured it, let's do another crash test with a big car. As you can see, it holds up much better than the last one, just by placing a rectangle at the back. I also have a part two, a second one, a second version that I would like to show you. And this one is a little stronger than the first one we made. So with this barrier, we need a L shape or a corner shape that has a dots on the top and on the front. So this Lego piece may not be in the basic Lego set, but if you have this, it will make it a little easier. If you don't have it, no problem. We can use that two dotted rectangle with the two dots in front as well. So stack up two square blocks on each other and then the corner sheet Lego on top of the last one. Now again, if you don't have the corner shape, just use those two rectangle blocks that we used previously with those double dots at the front. Now you're going to take a four dot rectangle and you're going to put it at the end of the arm and connect that. Now the second piece is a small square single dot with a single dot at front. Now you're going to take that one and you're going to place it at the end of that rectangle. You're going to take another piece and put it right on the side of that one. As you can see it aligns perfectly with the rest. square block on the back to secure the whole structure a little bit more. Now take another rectangle two dots block and we're going to secure this one to the front side. But before securing it, as you can see, there's a gap. So we need to mount something on it. In this case, we have a flat, small piece of Lego that we're going to use to attach it and then secure it properly from the front side. Again, you can use one piece depending on the Lego piece that you're using. I'm using a two dotted piece, so using two to secure it properly. So now you just made a second barrier that is more secure than the first one. Now I'm going to add some features to it and make it a little bit nicer but also a little bit more secure. And you can do this as well of course. to do the crash test. We take the bit car and we ram it against that barrier and see how it holds up. And as we can see, 
this one holds up much better than the previous one and as you can see it's bent a little bit but not much and you can again you can add a many pieces to this structure to secure it more and more so go crazy on this these were my two barriers that i want to share with you guys um, hopefully you enjoyed this small tutorial on how to make uh, crossover barriers with basic lego and again thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you next time take care